There's a narrative pushed by the media and cultural elites that women can't be conservative and that they can't be pro-life. I'm here to tell you that's a lie. Our institutions from primetime television to editorial pages to college professors want you to believe that all women are liberal and that it's your obligation to support a radical abortion agenda, what they call reproductive rights. They believe you have an obligation to support certain candidates and causes solely on the basis of your sex. They'll tell you real women or smart women vote a certain way. They even tell you that pro-life or conservative women can't be feminists. To me, that's deeply offensive. And worse, it's a lie. The truth is, women can believe whatever we want. In fact, I believe that conservatives have more to offer women than the liberal left self-help women's magazine and Plan B primetime television. Here's why. First, conservative policies are pro-family. Conservatives believe that women and families do best when we support the traditional family structure. To do that, we work to ensure a free economy with good jobs that support families. We work to support the freedom of parents to practice their faith and parent their children. And we work to oppose radical social engineering that hurts children. In contrast, the left has become more extreme and more anti-family. They now believe that men identifying as girls should be allowed to compete on girls' sports teams. They shout down anyone who disagrees. But Heritage Action polling shows that a wide majority of women oppose this radical social agenda. Politicians from halls of Congress to your city hall want to force this harmful agenda on you, on your kids, but that's not what mothers like me want. Second, conservatives value life. The right to life is the most fundamental right. In the United States, the abortion industry kills close to 1 million children every year, at least half of whom are girls, depriving them of their most basic right to live. Abortions devastate mothers, but more importantly, every abortion takes away the chance for a child to be born, love their mother, grow up, and one day even have a child of their own. Every abortion is a tragedy, and women and men shouldn't allow it to be normalized. Every woman cares deeply about her family and her society, but many women mistakenly believe that we can't speak up against this monstrous injustice. And I know that millions of women agree with me contrary to what you see on TV. It's time we put that power to use. The left wants to bully women into silence and force us to vote on the basis of women's issues, but I believe all issues are women's issues. As a mother of two, I have seen how national policy decisions affect not only my family, but the families of every woman I know. Women have the ability to make ourselves heard. We will march, We will protest, and most importantly, we will vote. Women are ready to fight for families and for life.